Hello, my wee darlings, and welcome to Tuesday. All right, so just got back from an amazingly short and very amazing trip. Um, and I am just awesomely grateful for all of the things that occurred during this trip that caused every bit of everything. Um, our flights went off without a hitch. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the people that were able to get on our plane going home that got displaced from their Eugene flight that got canceled. I am so grateful that our flights didn't get canceled. I'm grateful that I spent time with my family. I'm grateful that Jeff got to spend time with these people that are my family. Um, I'm grateful for the gifts I got. Uh, I just like, I got some amazing gifts. Most of my gifts from Jeff I got ahead of time because they're very useful in this time of year and it's cold and I am always cold so he's making sure I was warm and I absolutely love everything I got. They were they just super incredible gifts. Um, my mom got us all tickets to go to the Cirque show in Denver at the Gaylord and that was cool. And then uh, she got me a couple little other gifts. She got me some stones and crystals and she got me this cute little baby dragon that I is probably going to live on my nightstand because it's freaking adorable. Um, so absolutely grateful for small presents from far away, great presents at home. Um, Jeff's family gifted me some incredible presents and I didn't ever expect that. I'm just like, <sighs> this holiday season, like Christmas spirit or whatever, um, I haven't had that in a long time, but the one thing that this Yule, I'm going to say Yule, has done for me is just completely refilled my bucket. Um, I got my bucket refilled of just love and compassion and gratitude. And I just, oh, so happy. And I'm just so filled with gratitude. And I wanted to share that with you guys and remind you that it's important to have gratitude regardless of what's going on in your world. Um, try and find the happy, try and find that good little nugget that's in there somewhere. Um, you know, I've been reminded that although I've had some challenges in the last couple of years of my life, um, it's okay. You know, I just got to pick up all the good things that were in there, the lessons that I learned in the good and pick that up and go, you know, seed a new garden and tend that garden and just be super grateful that I can tend that garden and have that. Um, that's incredible. That's amazing. Those, those are good things and just forget the rest because it's gone and done, right? I can't do anything about it. I can't change it. So why fester on it any longer? And I'll be honest, I have festered entirely too long on this shit. So it's time, babies. It is time. So now that we're getting to the fiscal end of 2021, <laughs> and I know all of you guys just want to leave it in the past, which I do too, but um, take the lessons that you learned in this year and take them forward with you. Take the good. Um, I honestly hope all of you have found something good within this year. I also hope that the next year rings in true amazing, wonderful things for you guys. Um, my New Year's resolution which I've already started it, which is part of why I'm doing this video, but my resolution or my goals for 22 is specifically and only to have more gratitude and be happy, like truly happy in my core and my soul, like on a soul core being level, be happy because everything else that I want to manifest, have intention for, grow, find, do, create is all going to come from gratitude and happiness. If something doesn't make me happy and doesn't put me in my happiest position in self, then I'm just not going to do that because I'm just not, not going to be happy, right? My goals are to be happy and to have more gratitude and to be grateful for the good. Even if it's a bad situation, I need to find the good in it and be grateful and I'll remind myself of that as much as possible. We're all human. We all make mistakes. We all have setbacks. It happens to all of us. 
It does. Trust me. I do it all the time. Like, we all mess up. And we all be, like, I don't want to be lazy this next year. I want to just, like, oh, I'm so recharged. I don't know what has happened, but I am recharged. And I am raring to go. Um, I have applied for some jobs, and we'll see how that goes. But, unfortunately, they're all wanting a jab in order for me to have a job. So, if they won't let me have a religious exemption, I ain't going to be working for the medical industry any longer. So, got to find me something else to do. Um, I'm at that point where I need to find a new job, even if it's just part-time. Because, mm, girl is bored. Uh, and I don't want to sit at home anymore. Even though that's quite lovely as well. I've, I've enjoyed my retirement. It's time to go back into the workforce, darling. Now, to the end of this, and then I will let you all be free, even though you don't have to watch my whole video ever. But if you do, I love you. Mm, thank you. Mm, mm. Uh, hopefully you get a giggle out of this somewhere. Um, I'm also, that's probably another thing, is to find more funny content, because that is definitely one of my things, is I love to bring joy to other people and make them laugh. So I will try and do more funny content. Um, which, oh, I forgot I have a video I need to finish and post and put on the Tiki Talk from the, uh, airplane yesterday. That was wild. Um, anyway, so please know that just because we're getting to a fiscal new year doesn't mean it has to be your new year. If you're just not quite ready to enlist those resolutions, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be on January 1. You can restart, redo, renew whatever, start over completely 100% any day of any week of any month of any year. doesn't have to be January 1. That's just the fiscal new year. That's the end of the 365 days spin around the sun that we put on a calendar. It means nothing for you. Maybe it means everything for you. But please know that you don't have to do that. You don't have to. You can do it any day. You can do it today. I already started mine, girl. Okay, boy. Okay. Like, I already started. I already started. And it's not even the new year. Like, my new year has already started through Yule. And, like, that is my transformative time. Uh, you know, like, it's... Like, starting new intentions. Starting new manifestations. Starting my gratitude already. And being fulfilled with happiness. And just being super grateful for everything I have in my life. I am grateful that I went out and played in the snow today. I am grateful that I was warm because I had all the gifts that Jeff got me. I am grateful for Jeff. I am grateful that I went for a 9 p.m. walk in the snow with Jeff last night because we just decided to. I'm grateful that I decided to just put the stuff on and go. Like, why not? And that's also going to be one of my new things, trying to go forward and doing it as best I can. Why not? Let's just fuck it. Full send. Like, 22 for me this next year is full send. Why not? Fuck it. Let's go. Like, I need to put it on a freaking, I need to type it out, print it out, put it on a poster, put it on, like, I need it beaming every minute, like, looking up at the ceiling that I wake up and it's like, full send. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. Because that's, that's what's up. Yep. Full send. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. Yes. So, take that, put it in your pipe, smoke it. <laughs> Alright guys, hopefully you stayed. Love y'all. Have a good one. I'll see you before the end of the fair. Okay, bye.